It is a, an abomination that the Bible is used consistently on this floor. People are crying tears about God. And then when we tell you what the Bible says, love your neighbor, do for others, follow the golden rules, thou shalt do this, you don't do it. While everything we just saw was spot on and absolutely correct, we on the left have to give up this manner of fighting against white evangelicals on the right. As far as I can tell, when I read the Bible, he said, go out and love people the way I've loved you, and I'll take care of the result. He says, take care of the least of these. Help the people that need them. Help the widows. Love people. There, the word love is mentioned over 500 times. The greatest of these is love. How dare you use my God for things against his people? I promise you, all the preachers in here talking about God's love, he, he sort of wants you to show it and not talk about it. Trust me, I know this sounds counter to our efforts to change and win hearts. But what I am saying is not one of the white evangelicals in that room, not one of them was moved by the righteous passion of the state rep. And this fact is linked to a couple of things. None of them will ever change those who are committed to their version of Christianity, a religion of whiteness at its core. You know, Christian nationalism has a specific definition. And I, I don't want to have anything to do with anything racist or anything compared to Nazism because I think those things are horrific. So to you, please do not twist up my words. And that's what I'm not. And that's why I want to give you a chance to clarify. I have already clearly said it on this recording and it is not anything different from that. So should you maybe not use the word say you're a Christian and you're patriotic, or should you perhaps not call yourself a Christian nationalist, knowing that that's what that means? I don't means? know. I don't know anything bad about Who gets to say what words no, mean? I'm, I'm asking like, her. Well, no, I mean, the no, definition is, is, I don't know who labeled that something bad. A religion of hatred for anything that challenges the ideas of the political right. White evangelicals long stop following the teachings of the Bible and Jesus Christ. And while most of them would say that their teachings are the beliefs of the words of the Bible, just as they are written, using scripture alone to interpret what one should do and how one should behave, as the Bible speaks clearly, as they would say. And we, we, we that are casually watching them know for a fact this is absolutely incorrect. We know, we've seen them stand against Black Lives Matter as a movement. When the Bible says, what you do for the least amongst these, you do for me, Jesus speaking. We've seen them stand against immigrants when the Bible says bring in and take care of aliens. We've seen this time and time again, issue after issue, when the Bible demands respect and love, and instead we get whiteness, the wall of whiteness, as people other than those that are not white or in the graces of whiteness, because we disagree with their policies or we look different than who they care about. There are many other examples of white supremacy from white evangelicals and how they weaponize Christianity in an effort to support their ridiculous idea of white supremacy. Think slavery, think KKK, think Jim Crow, the creation of Christian academies across the country in response to Brown v. Board of Education to keep white kids from segregating or integrating with black kids. So my thought on this issue and the many others that include or demands us to act or respond to white evangelicals, especially for this amazingly passionate sister in Kentucky, is to take her message out of this room where she's trying to convince white evangelicals they're wrong and instead take this message to the many people of Kentucky, those in the hoods and the hollow, and win over their minds and also remind voters why these issues are enough to unelect these people. That's the only victory that's moral or Christian. How dare you tell other people, other parents that bear the responsibility for their children, what they must do according to your wishes and not God's wishes. I am Mundell Robinson. Have a good evening, but not before you think about it. Peace.